third grade spelling, October 27th. All right, so get your spelling books out and open them to page 25. You can pause the video while you do so. So on page 25, let's look at section four. It says super sentence. Write a sentence of five or more words using the word wrong. So wrong, let's say spell say wrong. Wrong, W-R-O-N-G. So you're gonna write any kind of sentence. It doesn't tell you what kind of sentence. It just tells you that you have to use five words in, in your sentence, one of those words being the word wrong, okay? Um, I can give you an example. No, nope, I don't even wanna give you an example. You should be able to think of that. So you go ahead and pause the video while you write a sentence with five words, one of them, at least five words, one of them using the word wrong. All right, so let's look at, oh wait. So go ahead, you've unpaused the video by now. Go back and double check your sentence. Make sure your sentence begins with a capital letter. And make sure your sentence has punctuation at the end, okay? Pause the video again while you go back and double check and correct if you need to correct. Okay, so now looking at section five. Spelling fun. Write the two words that are homonyms. Very good. New and new. Very good. They're words that sound the same. They have different meanings, different spellings. So new, the first new, or one of your news, whichever one you wrote, should be G-N-U. And the other new, whichever one you wrote, should be K-N-E-W. Those are our spelling words that are homonyms. And I stopped and paused when I did that because I think on yesterday's video, I think I called them synonyms, but they are homonyms, okay? Um, number six, um, words and their meanings. Write the vocabulary word that is an antonym. So antonyms mean opposites, all right? So what is um, the opposite of inability? Inability means we're not able to do something. Which one of our vocabulary words would mean that? Would it be scamper, wrath, or knack? We're talking about opposites. The opposite of inability would be knack. Very good, because knack means ability. So you would write knack on the line. Say, spell, say knack. Knack, K-N-A-C-K. Next, what, what, which vocabulary word is the opposite of calm? So we have wrath or scamper left. Remember, wrath means anger. So what would be the opposite of um, calm? Anger, very good, or wrath. So you're going to write wrath on the line. Say, spell, say, wrath. Wrath, W-R-A-T-H, wrath. And then the last one is stroll. If you're strolling, you're just taking your good old time, just walking around, looking at everything, just enjoying life. But what's the opposite of stroll? To scamper, very good. So we're going to write the word scamper on the line. Say, spell, say, scamper. Scamper, S C. A-M-P-E-R, scamper. Very good. And you are going to um, write your spelling words two times. Go ahead and look at the bottom. We have a, a, a quote here by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Let's read what it says. It takes less time to do a thing right than it does to explain why you did it wrong. Wow. I'm going to read this again. It takes less time to do a thing right than it does to explain why you did it wrong. Or you could even think of it like this. It takes less time to do a thing right than it does to do it over and do it the right way. So just do things right the first time, guys, okay? Don't, 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 um, don't just rush through things and get them done to be done, but do things right. Take your time, work steady, and do it right the first time, okay?